I think Doug Ford has a real chance to be premier, too. Remember that for all the insults and smears and shrieking against him from the mainstream media, Rob Ford became mayor of Toronto, and Doug Ford almost did, too. Check out this map. It is a map showing all the wards of the city where Doug Ford, not Rob Ford, but Doug won the blue parts. He won nearly half the city. If Ford can replicate that and also do well in the smaller cities and rural parts in the north of Ontario, I think he's got a real chance. It's not going to be a fair fight, of course. It never is. The media is hostile, of course. But I don't think that works as well as it used to do. The media thinks that people hate Doug Ford, hate conservatives. Well, surely some people do, but a lot more people hate the media. They don't trust the media. And the media is already showing its partisan colors. So are other groups, too. Look at this outrageous attack ad published just today by the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. That is an allegedly nonpartisan charity. It has charitable status under the Canada Revenue Agency. Now, they are supposed to fight for civil liberties, you know, things like freedom of speech. They're forbidden by law, the law being the Income Tax Act, from being partisan. But look at this ad. They are already campaigning against Doug Ford. Of course they are. So will every union, so will every academic, every NGO, every Antifa violent leftist, every green scheme and scam profiteer who has lived the high life under Kathleen Wynne and the Liberals. Justin Trudeau as well knows that if he loses Ontario to Doug Ford, especially to a carbon tax foe like that, he will have a very tough road ahead as he heads into his 2019 federal re-election year. So yeah, it is going to be a brutal 87 days for Doug Ford, but that is a good sign. The degree with which Ford's enemies hate him shows the degree to which they think he is a real force for change. That is good. If you're as desperate for change as I am, as we are, as conservatives are, and hopefully as severely normal Ontarians are. And I started this monologue by saying that this is more than just Ontario. It is. It's about anyone in Canada who's been conditioned, who has been brainwashed, who has been told to believe that we are lost. We've lost the debate on the carbon tax or free speech or anything else, so there's no point, especially no point for conservatives to even be conservative. No, that false consensus was just smashed, wasn't it? The peasants are revolting, aren't they? It's not Trumpism, really, but it is a related phenomenon. It's people simply refusing to do what they are told to do by leftist politicians and pundits and journalists and all the fancy people, including fake conservatives. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.